TMCNet at Nextcom 2008. Welcome again. I'm Eric Lanast, joined uh, this morning at NextCon 2008 by Danny Windham, Digium CEO. Welcome, Danny. Thank you, Eric. Can we get started uh, maybe um, addressing the question, uh, is, do people understand really what the difference between asterisk and Digium is? I think there's probably some level of confusion related to that. You know, asterisk is an open source project of which Digium is the sponsor. So Digium is a for-profit entity, but we have essentially two missions in life. One is to sponsor the open source Asterisk project, and then the for-profit side of Digium is to build essentially all things Asterisk that businesses would need to be able to utilize that open source Asterisk IP telephony project. And uh, so how are you uh, sort of uh, uh, looking to accomplish that uh, specifically? Uh, what kind of things are you looking to do here at the show? Well, since this is a service provider show, um, the thing that we have focused upon is our SwitchFox family of products. And the, the play that we see there is carriers are looking to increase their revenue from their customers, moving more into managed services. And SwitchFox is a very easy to use, very simple IPPBX that's targeted to small and medium sized businesses. So it's a very logical extension of a carrier's business if they're providing VoIP trunking or IP services to position an IPPBX at a customer's prem, manage that for them, and SwitchFox is a unique offering that allows some very special features if they do that, and it gives them a way to extend their value to their customers. Are, are there specific challenges that you're seeing uh, in, in terms of um, uh, carrier service providers understanding the role uh, that uh, Digium and Asterisk and, and uh, SwitchFox play in, in the service provider space? Uh, you know, Asterisk has been broadly adopted by service providers. In fact, we can point to a couple of hundred service providers that are using Asterisk in some fashion to power their infrastructure, whether it's Asterisk configured as a soft switch or as a dedicated voicemail server or a conferencing bridge. And so there, I think there's generally good awareness of Asterisk in the service provider space. The spot where Asterisk has been adopted but not necessarily by the service providers, is at the end of those service provider loops. So what we would like to suggest is service providers extend their revenue opportunities by managing IPPBX and put it into the loop. One of the challenges we have seen from service providers is, particularly serving the small and medium-sized businesses, is some businesses, particularly the smaller ones, are better served in a hosted arrangement some are better served by a premise-based solution. And one of the unique things about our SwitchFox offering is we have a, a mechanism so carriers can begin serving those small businesses in a hosted arrangement and then migrate that customer to a premise-based arrangement without ever having to change the configuration. The customer never knows that that migration occurred. It's just when the pricing or the size of the end user grows, they can then easily transition that customer from a hosted version of SwitchFox hosted in the cloud to a premise-based version, and the customer may be totally unaware that that ever happened. It seems that that would be a very, uh, very important, uh, very powerful ability to have to, to make that transition for the it, customer. It is, because it's really a pricing game. Um, for large customers, it becomes difficult to put a pricing model together for a hosted service that makes sense, but yet for really small customers, it's hard to put a pricing model together for a prem-based solution that makes sense. So being able to host for the really small ones, and you know, no small business wants to think they're going to be small forever. Everyone thinks they're going to grow. So you need a story that says, I can host you as a small business, but we'll be able to convert you to a prem-based solution with absolutely no interruption of your business as you grow. You use two different terms, uh, managed and hosted. Um, is there some confusion uh, in the market between as, as to what the difference is between managed services and hosted services? Well, let's talk a little about that. Um, there's a buzzword in the industry today, software as a service. And sure. so hosted telephony really kind of falls under the umbrella of software as a service. But in the case of SwitchFox, the way that product is, the hosted version is, there's really um, a, a machine, a, a computer that sits in the hosting network, sits in the carrier's network, and it runs a virtualized version of SwitchFox, and one machine can now run maybe 20 instances of SwitchFox. And essentially, each small business is getting their own IPPBX that's hosted on this one computer inside the Carrier Networks cloud, and it's as if they had a, uh, you know, that same product on their premises, but all they need there now is, is IP phones connected into that PBX that actually lives in the Carrier Networks cloud. The managed version means that the customer doesn't have to own it. 
that they don't have to take care of it and they don't have to have the expertise to manage it. So they've essentially outsourced the management of their IP PBX to the carrier. So hosting means that it actually lives in their cloud and managed means that the carrier is taking care of it for the end user and they are essentially worry free. Does Digium have a preference as to uh, which way uh, customers go hosted or, or uh, on-prem? We actually don't have a preference and I think it's about the size of that end user because the really small guys might not be able to afford putting a IPPBX on-prem, but small businesses want all the really cool features you can get out of an IPPBX. And so they can get that on a monthly fee from a hosted service provider. But that model normally falls apart as the end user grows and if you get you know, 100 uh, customers on the end of that circuit, the pricing model normally becomes you know, not very attractive and it motivates them to now want to buy their own IPPBX. So the unique thing in our solution is they don't have to move from one offering to another when they make that decision. The carrier can just migrate that for them. They keep that customer as a, um, a trunking customer and they didn't lose them to you know, some other service provider in the process. Fantastic, uh, like I said, that's a great opportunity uh, for, for you. We've been chatting this morning with uh, Digium CEO, Danny Windham. Danny, thanks for joining us. And, Thank uh, you, Rick. Best of luck with, uh, with the Switchbox product line. Thanks, take care. Thank you.